Hi everybody, it's Tristan from World English School and today I want to talk about this Highlights magazine. And this is uh, an older issue, it's from 2014, October, and uh, this month is October. And we're in uh, Funabashi City, Japan, and it's fall time and Halloween is coming up. Japanese people don't really celebrate Halloween like Americans do uh, because it's new to the country, but they started recently here in Japan and they've got a lot of like costumes, candy, things like that. But um, we sometimes talk to people about Halloween because <laughs> it's fun, you know? And uh, we have this magazine here and it's uh, October, uh, October issue. So we're gonna talk about it a little bit. And after that, um, Ami's gonna show you uh, this one here, which is the younger version. It's for younger children, high five. And this is also October, this is October 2015. So let's just look a little bit. I used to look at this with my dad, so I thought maybe it'd be fun if I looked at this with you a little bit, parents and children both. I like the, um, there's some kind of quizzes at the beginning, I think. This is a pop quiz, and it says, how well do you know Halloween? Take this true or false quiz to find out. Uh, for example, is this true or false? Jack-o'-lanterns have always been carved from pumpkins. You can ask your kid, you know, is that true, true or false? What do you think? Why would they ask that question? I wonder if pumpkins come from, you know, jack-o'-lanterns were originally carved someplace else. How about this? More than... <laughs> I don't know about this one. There are more than 35 million pounds of candy corn are made each year. <laughs> Maybe that's true. 35 million pounds. You can ask your kid, how much do you weigh? About, what, 50 pounds, 40 pounds, 30 pounds, whatever? <laughs> 35 million pounds? That's more than 35 million of you. <laughs> that's a lot. That's a lot of weight. That's kind of fun. I, I never looked at the table of contents. I don't really care. I just like to open it up and... I saw the editor's picture. She's the editor-in-chief, this lady here. Highlights. Check this out. Here's a poem. It says here... This is called Old Elm Speaks by Christina O'Connell, George, and uh, Ricardo Tercio did the art. It is as I told you, young sapling. It will take autumns of patience before you snag your first moon. <laughs> it's nice. Almost, uh, it's very poetic, isn't it? I'll check this out. This is uh, Goofus and Gallant. When I was a kid, these drawings were much different. It was a different artist, I think. For example, Goofus says, he's always the, doing the ill-mannered uh, things, isn't he? He says, I can't find my toothbrush. I'll just use Dad's, says Goofus. Mom, I left my toothbrush at Graham's. Where are the new ones, says Gallant. <laughs> so do you know both styles, right? Like, that's the question for kids. And it's good stuff. I like it. Here's another, here's a little joke down here. Tall tales and short stories. That's funny, isn't it? Little jokes like that. Well, these, um, you know, these get you to think. I think that's the point of, of highlights, right? It's like fun with a purpose is the, is the motto. And it does make you think, and it's enjoyable. Oh, interesting. This is a question, why do people have red eyes in pictures? I don't know if I know that. What is this, uh, George Washington or something? This is cool stuff. Oh, okay, here's my favorite. I always used to do this with my dad. We would look for uh, the hidden pictures. This is a Halloween theme, uh, you know, fall theme, Piggy Pumpkin Patch, and you can look here and find, so for example, the pail here, the bucket, it's right here, isn't it? And the ones that are most difficult are things like perhaps the artist's brush, and that might be really hard to find. So if you can, oh, I found it, it's right here. Look at that. So yeah, like, I, I don't know if these are available on Amazon or what, but I, I think if I were a parent, I would probably get my kids these magazines. I think my grandparents um, got me subscriptions every year. You can get them internationally too, not just in the States. I think you can get them sent um, to other countries. Here's some crafts. These are fun little crafts, aren't they? Look, there's an artist beret. That's cute, isn't it? <laughs> there's a bookworm, a soaring bat. You can spin it around. What else? Here, I like this one too. My dad, bat, my dad and I would do this one. This is called Thinking, and it's the pumpkin carving contest, this, this one. So for example, they ask questions that you like have to think about, you know, it's critical thinking. So for example, um, 
which pumpkin is your favorite? Well, you really have to you have to think. You know, what is my preference? You know, what makes uh, pumpkins more suitable for carving than other fruits and vegetables? Well, that's a heavy question for a kid, isn't it? For a younger child, it'd be good for ten-year-olds maybe. For an eight-year-old, what well, that'd, that'd make them think, wouldn't it? Why might a town have a contest like this? And what do you think judges look for in carved pumpkins? Wow, good questions. So then, I like these two. These are kids' drawings. I always like this. Look at them. A kid did an okapi. Isn't that funny? What an odd animal, huh? I'm a gecko, this gecko says. <laughs> From Indiana. I wonder, are there, are there geckos in Indiana? And then there's an article about um, uh, this firefighter. He saves, uh, saves animals and people's lives. And then there's a chart here of how he and maybe how he goes to the house, apartment, or an escape plan, maybe. So there's all sorts of stuff. I I don't I don't think I'll read the whole thing, but here's one more I like. The timber toes. I always like that one. The sky was filled with stars. That looks like a ladle. No, it's a big foot. I guess it could be either. I think I'm right. Which one was it? Tommy went to bed. He couldn't sleep. He was thinking about which one it was. Tommy looked again. Mabel was right. Look, he held up a ladle. But he was right too. <laughs> Look at this, a foot and a ladle. I like that. Oh, here's a uh, magic trick. That's a good one. Um, some poems or something, I guess, by kids. I like the kids stuff. Protecting little penguins. Interesting, this dog protects a penguin family, maybe? Interesting. And at the very end, we have, um, wow, this is a tough one. It says, what do the costumes in each row, horizontally, vertically, and diagonally have in common? So for example, sorry, for example, this, this one here, like these three costumes, what do they have in common? And then these three here, and then these three here, for example, like that. These are good questions, man. These magazines really make you think. I think I learned a lot from them, especially doing them with my dad. And this is, uh, what's wrong? How many silly things, like a pot on the head, for example? So anyway, that's, uh, it's Highlights Magazine. This is a, again, this is 2014, but I really recommend it. It's great for kids, um, and I enjoy it too as an adult, and I think you might too. So check it out. This is Highlights. Happy Halloween. Hi guys, this is Ami from World English School. Minasan konnichiwa, World English School no Ami desu. Today, after Tristan introduced highlights, I'm going to introduce you a uh, high five. This is directed to three to seven years old, I think. And English is much, much easier. And the, the um, content, context is also really easy. And this is also um, issued in October in 2015. So this is for Halloween. We are featured Halloween themes this month. So when you open High Five, you see like comics first. This is, look, out spot. Oops, uh-oh. Now what? Paint is sticky. What is that? It's spot. Like this, this is really easy English. So the uh, parents can read it. The, especially the parents who don't speak English well, I think. This is really easy for the parents. And this has a reading um, page. This is featured, um, like, you can draw whatever you want and um, you, your imagination is more important than the actual thing. And this is, has ethics. Um, because they are kids, um, just do what you feel and what you think is right and when you open the next page you see the puzzle and i think this is the mo the the most favorite page for the kids we have kids who come to our school and they love puzzles like hidden pictures puzzle they have to find pizza sailboat mushroom flag carrot mallet boot toothbrush and stock a uh, sock sorry so these things they have to find from here and it's really fun can you see pizza already this is the pizza. Interesting place, the pizza. 
uh, was placed. So it's really fun for the kids and also the parents. I think parents love it too. And another another reading page, and it's really um, it's just warm your heart. I think this this magazine is really good for. It's not only for the English, but also the ethics that kids can learn. And the, another puzzle again: playing in the park. Dogs in the dog park love to run. Big ones, small ones join the fun. Round and round and up and over. There goes Rusty. There goes Rover. Anytime, any day, dogs in the park, dog park love to play. So this is the, the poem. The puzzle part has a poem and also there's a question right here. How many D's can you find? How many big dogs can you see? How many small dogs do you see? What else do you see? It's a really good question for the young readers. Um, and another puzzle again, using the dinosaur. Here, the, here's the question, what silly, silly things do you see? Do you know the word silly? It means like um, funny, funny things, interesting things, do you see? So this is interesting. There are uh, kids right here, and among kids, there is an animal. What animal is he? And here is a monkey right here. The dog is holding a really big bone. Could be from the dinosaur. This kind of thing is uh, really silly. And look, this dinosaur is wearing shoes. That's really funny. And here, the colorful rainbow, rainbow color dinosaur. So these things um, the parents can point out and it's really silly and you can like haha it's funny that the, the, um, the dinosaur has rainbow color and something like that you guys can do. Read aloud in English and Spanish and there's a part in Spanish. Hola and yo me llamo Pepe. My name is Pepe. And uh, maybe you can practice Spanish too with your kid. I don't know, like, yo me amo Ami. And here, stories about uh, the monkey. I don't know the story, I haven't read it. So, but it looks really fun to read with the kid. And a puzzle again. How the picture is the same. So this is a comparison, I think. Look and look again. How are they different? Do you see the similarities, the same things? Do you see the differences? It's fun. And the reading again, picking pumpkins. So the October theme is the, the pumpkins. So there are a lot of things about the Halloween. I spy. Pumpkin games. And, and there is a recipe for activity for kids and moms and dads and um, banana mummies. You can make mummies from bananas. Like uh, you can bake with your kid and it's, I think it's easy. And the pumpkin bats, spiders and cats. It's a dance activity with the kids. You can do it together with your kids and enjoy um, dancing together and singing. There are a lot of activities here and the reading poems and um, puzzles. And here is the arts and crafts. It's really long, long pages. So Tristan and I in a, a, a World English School recommend High Five and Highlights magazines for the parents and for kids. And this time we wanted to tell, um, introduce you the October theme for Halloween. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.